Thank you, listeners. Uh, this is going to be a silver supply and uh, silver fundamentals update. And uh, I will talk also about uh, the, the currency situation and the economical crisis uh, in relation to the silver. Uh, first, um, I've been following the supply in uh, of retail silver on the um, uh, investment market in, in North America very closely. And I'm going to link to the uh, Silver Doctor um, last report. It's a very uh, good overview of all the shortages that you can notice that builds up in the system because we have this demand spike. Uh, whatever, personally, what I see, I, I'm skeptical that it's in itself, it's, it's enough to trigger the, the disconnect from the paper price. It's, it's my conclusion. And I, I tell you why. Uh, first of all, I, now the Silver Institute released their numbers, and I'm going to uh, link to, to them for uh, 2012. And as you can see, there is uh, coins uh, there only uh, 90, 93 million uh, ounces for the whole year, which is um, ridiculously low of a number. But okay, we're going to take it for what, what it is. And uh, the whole production, it's uh, 1,048 million. So the, the investment silver, it's less than 9% of whole silver used, okay? And if, let's say, we, we will s see even the explosion in, in the demand by 30, 40, 50% this year compared to the last year, this is only explosion in a, in a 9% percent of the whole silver market and if you take uh, things like you know uh, silver wear okay which is 45 million ounces that could uh, that could contract to make more silver available for an investment form so if let's say you know uh, the price is just going up by a little bit and uh, producers going to pay for, for this. You, you're just going to see less silver spoons on the market. Nobody will complain about that. And uh, the other thing is the jewelry. Jewelry it's 185 million per year. 185 million, it's, it's, uh, it's a double according to Silver Institute. Um, but it's it's still it's a possibility that this can compress if there is um, increased demand. I'm thinking what is what is really needed for uh, for silver to, to, to see the dis disconnect. It's a political backing. Political backing. I will say let's say Arizona or Utah or both or Texas wherever they will start making uh, melting silver, silver uh, coins in circulation and they will create a sustained demand of tens of millions of ounces every year. That's or uh, any country introduces the silver coins into circulation once again. Or silver get monetized in, in the form like a, a debit card like I've been talking. This is a happy, this thing is going to happen on the political level. I don't think the retail demand, in my opinion, in itself is powerful enough to create a disconnect in current market condition uh, on, in the next uh, two, two years, okay? But it's not why I'm buying silver, okay? I'm, I'm buying silver and I came to buy silver because it's the alternative to the dollars, okay? When people uh, focus again too much on, on the silver, what's happening with, with silver supply, what's happening with the silver price in, in the manipulated market. Um, but the biggest fundamental in the silver investment, in my opinion, it's, it's the situation with the dollar because I would look 90% of my research or 90% of my investment decision when I choose silver is influenced by the situation with the um, U.S. dollar right now, okay? And I'm going to link with the, uh, to um, Greg Hunter report uh, interview with the Carl uh, Denninger. Uh, this is one of my favorite analysts for, you know, the monetary policies in the United States. Uh, 
this is just one one uh, example on with the US bonds what's going on with the euro okay uh, you, yes there's hyperinflation or comex default can be avoided by uh, capital controls and by the price controls and it's not it's not going to be the capital controls like we've seen in the Soviet Union where they're going to be openly admitted and it's not going to be the price controls um, where it's necessarily going to be openly admitted by the governments. You see that, you know, let's say we have a price control on the commodity market right now. It's not openly admitted. People are in the very, it's only um, if you have to dig beneath the surface and only few people are actually aware how the gold market is, uh, what's really... Um, the transaction where there is no gold exchange that determines the, the gold price and same, same things. So you see there is, it's a form of capital control, it's the, the uh, form of price control can be done uh, the same way. But at the end, the fundamentals, uh, it, uh, the situation like this will lead to political crisis. And the other bullish event, okay, the most bullish event, in my opinion, I'm going to link to the report um, of the Russia today, and we have a demonstration in Paris, massive demonstration against Francois Hollande. Okay, so Francois Hollande is is the less popular French uh, leader since last 50 years. He has less than 25 percent uh, support, and France is actually my biggest country in the European uh, zone and in the whole Western world for the political reforms. Uh, I'm not sure that they, it's going to be 100% uh, free market reforms because the leftist orientation of the country, but it's going to be some major uh, reforms that's going to trigger some monetary reforms. And this is very bullish for silver because this is very bearish for euro. This is very bearish for austerity. This is very bearish for uh, you know possibility uh, for euro zone to, to stay. Um, together. So you have record unemployment, budget deficit, no growth, and you have also the stupid, uh, super rich tax, you know, that the Francois Hollande became famous and being characterized uh, by many media even uh, around in the Western world for, for this uh, tax, you know, let's tax the, the rich to pay for, for the, the social spending. Uh, which is we, you know, but he's done it in a very obvious way to to show how it does it doesn't work. Um, so, yes, the, the, you can avoid in in the United States uh, hyperinflation by you know um, controlling interest rate, controlling the bond market, controlling the gold price, uh, controlling the price of some other things like housing. Uh, must, uh, presenting the false statistics and, you know, make the false, uh, false statistics about the unemployment, about inflation, about the uh, real growth in, growth in the United States. You, you, you can hold uh, this together for, for a couple of years, but it's all going to lead to the political crisis. And, the silver price will rise as the result of this political crisis, I think. And it's going to be very bearish for a dollar. Uh, I should say, actually, not that the price will rise in, in the real term, but uh, that's the currencies, the euro and the dollar will go down. It's not like so much the silver is going up, but the saving in silver, it protects against the, the fall of the paper currency in, in the current situation. That's uh, what is, uh, my main focus is, uh, what I realize my personal investment decision, how I, I came to the silver, and I see this as the most bullish indicator uh, for me to be very positive 